Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cybersecurity, specifically focusing on a technique called OTP bypass using Burp Suite. This is a powerful tool and a critical skill for anyone interested in cybersecurity. Before we begin, I want to emphasize the importance of ethics. The information shared today is for educational purposes only. It's crucial to use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Unauthorized access to computer systems is illegal and harmful. In the digital age, our lives are intertwined with technology. We rely on websites and applications for banking, shopping, communication, and much more. These systems, while convenient, are not impenetrable. They often contain vulnerabilities that attackers can exploit. Understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial for anyone involved in cybersecurity. Whether you're a developer, a security professional, or just a tech enthusiast, knowing how these weaknesses work is the first step to protecting yourself and your data. By understanding how attacks happen, we can build stronger defenses and create a more secure online environment. One of the most powerful tools in a cybersecurity professional's arsenal is Burp Suite. It's a platform designed for testing web application security. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for cybersecurity professionals. Burp Suite allows you to intercept, inspect, and modify the traffic between your browser and a web application. This gives you incredible control and visibility into how websites communicate, making it an invaluable tool for identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities. It's important to note that Burp Suite should only be used on systems you have permission to test. Now, let's walk through a common scenario, bypassing two-factor authentication using a vulnerable OTP implementation. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, is a security measure that requires not only a password and username, but also something that only the user has on them, that is, a piece of information only they should know or have immediately to hand, such as a physical token. However, even this robust security measure can have its weaknesses. Imagine you're trying to access a website that uses OTP for added security. This OTP, or one-time password, is typically sent to your mobile device to ensure that you are indeed the person trying to log in. The process starts with you entering your username and password on the website. You enter your username and password, and the website sends you a unique code to your phone. This code is meant to be a second layer of security, ensuring that even if someone has your password, they still can't access your account without this additional piece of information. First, intercept the request. Using Burp Suite, a powerful tool for testing web application security, you can intercept the request sent to the server when you enter the OTP. This allows you to see the data being transmitted and potentially manipulate it. Next, modify the request. Instead of forwarding the request with the actual OTP, you can modify it to resend the request for the initial authentication. This means you are essentially tricking the server into thinking that the initial login attempt is still valid and ongoing. Finally, bypass the OTP. If the web application doesn't properly validate the OTP, the server might grant you access based on the initial authentication request, effectively bypassing the OTP. This highlights the importance of robust security measures and thorough testing to ensure that even secondary security features like OTP are implemented correctly and securely. Section 5. The Ethical Tightrope of Cybersecurity The technique we just discussed highlights the importance of ethical hacking. Ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing, involves legally breaking into computers and devices to test an organization's defenses. It's a critical practice that helps identify security weaknesses before malicious hackers can exploit them. Ethical hackers use the same tools and techniques as their criminal counterparts, but with the organization's permission and for the purpose of improving security. By understanding how these vulnerabilities can be exploited, developers and security professionals can build more secure systems. This proactive approach is essential in today's digital age, where cyber threats are constantly evolving. Regular security assessments and updates are necessary to stay ahead of potential attackers. Collaboration between ethical hackers and developers ensures that security measures are robust and effective. However, it's crucial to remember that using these techniques against systems you don't have permission to test is illegal and unethical. Unauthorized hacking can lead to severe legal consequences, including fines and imprisonment. 
It's important to adhere to ethical guidelines and respect the boundaries set by organizations. Ethical hacking should always be conducted within a legal framework to maintain trust and integrity in the cybersecurity community. Always obtain explicit permission before performing any security testing. This consent ensures that all parties are aware of the testing and its scope, preventing misunderstandings and potential legal issues. Clear communication and documentation are key components of ethical hacking. By obtaining permission, ethical hackers demonstrate their commitment to responsible practices and the overall goal of enhancing security. The goal is to make the internet a safer place, not to cause harm or steal information. Ethical hackers play a vital role in protecting sensitive data and maintaining the trust of users. Their work helps to prevent data breaches, identity theft, and other cyber crimes. By focusing on security improvements, ethical hackers contribute to a safer and more secure digital environment for everyone. Responsible disclosure of vulnerabilities is crucial, allowing developers to fix the issues before they can be exploited maliciously. This process involves reporting security flaws to the organization in a confidential manner, giving them the opportunity to address the issues without public exposure. Responsible disclosure fosters a collaborative relationship between ethical hackers and organizations, ultimately leading to stronger security practices and a more resilient digital infrastructure. Section 6. Practical Tips for Developers For developers, securing your applications against these types of attacks is paramount. In today's digital landscape, the threats are constantly evolving and staying ahead of potential vulnerabilities is crucial. It's not just about writing code, it's about writing secure code. This means being proactive and vigilant in your approach to security. Here are a few key takeaways. Implement robust OTP validation. One-time passwords are a common security measure, but they must be handled correctly to be effective. Ensure that your OTPs are unique, time-bound, and difficult to guess. This adds an extra layer of security to your application. Ensure your application properly validates OTPs and doesn't rely on simple resubmission of requests. Use HTTPS. HTTPS is essential for securing the communication between the user's browser and your server. It encrypts the data, making it much harder for attackers to intercept and manipulate information. Encrypt all communication between the user's browser and your server to prevent eavesdropping and data manipulation. Stay updated. Regularly updating your software and libraries is another critical step. This helps to patch known vulnerabilities and protect your application from new threats. Regularly update your software and libraries to patch known vulnerabilities. This includes not only your own code, but also any third-party libraries and frameworks you might be using. Keeping everything up to date ensures that you are protected against the latest security threats. By following these best practices, you can significantly reduce the risk of OTP bypass and other common web application vulnerabilities. Security is not a one-time task, but an ongoing process that requires continuous attention and improvement. Remember, security is an ongoing process, not a one-time fix. Regularly review and update your security measures to adapt to new threats and ensure the safety of your applications and data. Section 7. Beyond the Code, A Holistic Approach to Security While technical safeguards are crucial, security extends beyond just code. It's about creating a culture of security within your organization. Educate your employees about common threats like phishing. Educate your employees about social engineering. Implement strong password policies and encourage the use of password managers. Regularly back up critical data. Have a plan in place for incident response. By adopting a holistic approach to security, you can create a more resilient organization. Section 8. The Future of Cybersecurity. A Cat and Mouse Game. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. As new technologies emerge, so do new vulnerabilities. Attackers are constantly finding new ways to exploit systems, while security professionals work tirelessly to stay one step ahead. This constant back and forth is the nature of cybersecurity. Staying informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities is essential for staying ahead of the curve. Embrace continuous learning and adapt your security practices to meet the ever-changing threat landscape. Section 9. Conclusion. We've covered a lot of ground today from the basics of OTP bypass to the importance of ethical hacking and best practices for developers. Remember, knowledge is power, but it's crucial to use that power responsibly. If you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity, there are countless resources available online and in libraries. 
consider pursuing certifications or joining online communities to connect with other security enthusiasts. The world of cybersecurity is vast and exciting, and there's always something new to learn. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more cybersecurity content in the future.